Hello everyone, here we are with a hopefully somewhat quick video this time. So this here is a plane, hopefully, obviously, but of course, what kind of plane is it? Well, it's a DC-10. Now granted, most of you watching this video to begin with are probably obsessed with aviation like I am, so you probably could already tell. A few of you might have mistaken it for an MD-11, but this is a DC-10. And in fact, here's a bunch of them right now, here on this radar. All gathered in Memphis at the FedEx main air freight terminal. Let's get one that uh, actually shows the image. How about that? There we go. Nice, short little DC-10. Renamed MD-10s after the... Uh, McDonnell Douglas merger. And these here, FedEx Freight DC-10s, are some of the very few remaining DC-10s. Now, the DC-10, uh, some people may remember, it was once quite a prominent aircraft. Oh, so very, very long ago. But it quickly lost its popularity as uh, it had a troubled uh, childhood, so to speak, as there were a number of problems that were quickly noticed through various uh, fatal accidents, one after the other, in, at least in aviation terms, in pretty rapid succession, some even only being a few months apart. You had one whose middle engine exploded, one whose left engine uh, ripped off of the wing, uh, flew back over it and smashed the tail, you had another one that just sort of fell out of the sky. You had one that burst into flames. You had one where the pilots lost control of it on takeoff. So the DC-10 uh, didn't really enamor airlines all that well. As it's kind of a bad business model to constantly be killing your customers. And as much as many aviation enthusiasts and pilots love the DC-10 as an aircraft, it started becoming obvious that this plane likes to kill people. So, over the course of time, not all that much time, most airlines uh, phased out the DC-10, and very quickly the only operators of the DC-10 remaining were freight carriers like FedEx and UPS and the like. However, even UPS has already gotten rid of all their DC-10s, and now FedEx is doing the same slowly replacing them with uh, Boeing 767s, one every couple months or so. About a year and a half ago, at uh, any point when I had the filter on like I do now so that I only see DC-10s, we'll zoom out on this radar so you can see that there's nothing else because I have a filter placed over it. At any point during the night, which is when most cargo flies, there would be around... Uh, 20 to 25 uh, FedEx DC-10s in the air. Now, however, currently you can see on the counter there are seven. Uh, that's just how many are visible right now, as about half of them are off-grid uh, getting their cargo loaded. However, now the most that can be seen at the height of air freight traffic is down to only about 14 or 15. And with that number still dwindling down as they're replaced one by one. Now, with the exception of a major accident in Tokyo, the DC-10 never really gave the freight carriers that many problems. So one might wonder, why is it being so rapidly replaced now? And that's... well, unfortunately, it, it just has another problem, which is... it's old. As we zoom back in here, so that we can click on individual DC-10s and you can see their ages, you'll see... Uh, they're not that young. Check this one. Built in 1975, 44 years ago. Let's check another. Built in 1975, also 44 years ago. That may not initially seem like that much, as, you know, it's, it's not like that's World War II age or anything. But an airliner slash freight carrier age, that's, uh, that's starting to get up there. A lot of aircraft are typically even retired uh, between 25 and 30. So, the DC-10 is 
it's just old and uh, not all that fuel efficient. And quite obviously, to anyone who's aware of reality, and especially those of you who watch uh, videos on my main energy and resources channel, uh, this isn't exactly the age of cheap fuel anymore. So unfortunately for said array of reasons, for those who do admire the DC-10 aviation-wise, unfortunately, we're going to have to be saying goodbye to the DC-10. And inevitably not too long after that, uh, probably the MD-11 as well. Since the MD-11 is different, but it's essentially just the DC-10 remade with its desire to kill people removed. Now many of you who are aviation fans, which is probably most of you are likely already aware, we are already uh, going through this with the MD-88 family of aircraft as well over on the airliner side of things. But Delta is replacing its MD-88 family aircraft with CS-100s or A220s. So this is quickly going to become a continuing theme, or rather, it already has become a continuing theme. So that's the sad story of the ongoing death of the DC-10. But I hope everyone enjoyed regardless. If you did, obviously, please hit the like button. And if you want to watch more stuff, then obviously subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't already. PayPal.me, Patreon, uh, Redbubble Shop, everything's in the description below for anyone who wants to support me. Hope you all enjoy yourselves, and I will see you all around next time.